Sam 3 from Meta just came out and it's crazy good. It's probably one of the best models I've seen so far. It works with a simple prompt that you give it, like flower on the left you can see here, and it could detect many instances of flowers in the video or image. You can even give it a little bit of assistance if it has trouble finding birds, for example, by selecting a box to show it an example of birds that it's supposed to find. This model can even be applied to your video creation process to make your content even more amazing. SAM3 made huge improvements from its previous models, SAM2 and SAM1, especially with how you could use text prompts, so we're going to go ahead and see some examples. Specifically, we'll be starting with this cat example right here. If you're new here, my name is Kevin and I've been doing robotics and AI for 10 plus years and have lots of resources on my channel. I also have a master's robotics and AI bundle as well as the robotics project bundle. Go ahead and check it out at kevinwoodrobotics.com. So here I'm playing with SAM3 in the RoboFlow workflow. So it's really quick and easy way to prototype your algorithms here. But you can see I gave it cat head and it was able to detect all the cat heads in the image, which is pretty impressive. Now here I gave another example, which is eyes. And look at that. It was able to detect all the eyes in this image. Pretty crazy. Now you can see here I gave it a slightly more complicated scenario. So I told it to detect the black cat and orange cat. It was able to do that. This one right here is a little bit yellowish, so I'm guessing they didn't count this one as the orange cat, but overall I would say it's still pretty good considering this complex situation. Now if you want to deploy your code to Python, for example, it's really easy. You just come up here to ready to deploy and you can see all you need to do is, for example, pip install inference. And just with a few lines of code, you're able to get an application up and running. The main library we're using is the inference library and uh, CV2, the open CV. And just a few lines right here to set up the sync here and then call your pipeline. Then you do your pipeline start and pipeline join, then everything is ready to go. There's more examples you could see here. So this specific one is with umbrellas. So this is the original image and we're gonna ask it to find the green umbrellas. So we could go ahead and see the results for that. You can see these are all the green umbrellas that it has found. And this one right here is an even more complicated example. So taking a look at the original image, this is a dashboard of your car. And we're asking it to find indicator light, number, and needle. And you can see that the other models have a lot of hard time, the Gemini 2.5 and YOLO World, they have a hard time finding all of these things. But if you look at the performance of SAM3, look at that. It found all the numbers here. It found the indicator lights that we see here and this needle right here. So this model is definitely very good for these very complex situations, which normally for those that have used YOLO know how long it takes to train your model just to get all of these things. Now this other example here, we're trying to find the button, switch, knob, and keyhole. You could look at the original image and looking at the results, you could see that it found pretty much everything that we asked for, even though these buttons here are very cluttered. And not only that, but the knobs are all very different in terms of shape and sizes and it still did very well. Here's another example with eggs and we're telling it to find open eggs. You can see here, this is the results. We found the two open eggs at the bottom. This is definitely a very impressive and difficult task and it did very well. You can see with YOLO world, this is completely wrong. And with Gemini, Oh, Gemini was actually able to find it too, but yeah, you can see these two, they both found it. So that's pretty good. Now this other example here, we're asking it to find the glass mug. So we can see we have one, two, three, and four. Let's see how this model does. You can see that it found the four that we said. Yeah, and even this bottom one right here that I completely missed. So sometimes these models can be better than the human eye. This next one here, we're trying to find all the handicap spots in the images. So let's see how it does. You can see right here, it found all of them. So yeah, it's pretty good. All right, so if you wanna play with these examples, just go ahead and go over to RoboFlow Playground and you could check it out for yourself. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.